and so on and so on and so on. Mr. Weiler? James Weiler. Uh, that's present and accounted for. Terry Lucht, I've been retained by your sister as official representation to be present when your parents' will is read. Will? The, the death certificate hasn't come. <laughs> it came in? Yes. Yeah. I wrote a letter a week for 12 years trying to get them to pass this through. That would explain these. <laughs> and I have more in the car. Apparently, the judge is pretty fed up with you. That's why he asked me to come instead of a courier. Thought it might be more intimidating. Send him my love. <laughs> uh, I I'm sorry, uh, Andrea's getting a lawyer? Has a lawyer. But we just got the death certificate. Mm, you know, Andrea is, uh... I, I understand. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you on the 20th and we'll read that will. Bobby's birthday? We're going to a water park. Again, your sister's... Right, <laughs> right. Okay, uh... Well... <laughs> Call me. Oh, I will, I will. If you have any questions or anything. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, oh. <laughs> okay. Bye. She seemed nice. Get back in there. <laughs> James is in love. The war table. Whenever we're sitting at this table, We've got to be completely honest with each other, is where we duke it out. Remind Dennis about the party. Hey, this is Dennis. If you're calling about the ad to ride the Loch Ness Monster, just leave your credit card number and we'll send you a receipt. Dennis, don't forget about my birthday, bro. Water slides, baby. Three things that are supposed to be taboo in polite conversation. Politics, religion, relationships. Okay, let's cover them all. But what's with the costumes? Added effect. Deuteronomy says, thou shalt not stay angry at a man in costume. Does not. Look it up. Politics, religion, relationships. You first. Okay. Relationships. When was the last time you had a girlfriend? Uh, what decade is it again? Exactly. I've been busy. Doing what? Raising my brothers and sisters. Please. Andrea and Dennis moved out. I'm getting older now. You're lonely, right? Come on, don't be so stoic. Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean there isn't someone for you. Point taken. Solution? Find a girlfriend. 
I'm not going to date just anybody. That's fine. Just be open to the possibility that someone might actually like you. We'll put it down as a suggestion. Okay. Whoa there, doggy. We're not done yet. Right. Politics and religion. Can I be honest with you? We're at the war table, right? In all seriousness, I don't think you've ever really owned your faith. Well, I believe what you believe. Which is... Point taken. This is serious. What you believe about God, Jesus, religion, it shapes everything. Or at least it should. Things are going to get complicated in your life. If you don't solve this stuff in advance, it's going to be that much harder. Okay. All right. Super. What about politics? I can't even vote for another two years. Right. Meeting adjourned. Ah. I'll get you some ice. Thanks for coming over, man. I really appreciate it. No sucking up to the ref. Get in position. All right, that's it. Tomorrow, you got this duty. And you. No, seriously, you and the lawyer? There's more to dating than going after whatever catches your eye. <sighs> like what? Like personality. Do her faith and values line up with your own? You know, it's what's on the inside that really matters, not just if she looks good. Oh. When? When she and Andrea come for your birthday cake and everything else we own? Twelve years just to get sued. I haven't even prayed about it yet! She might like you. What are you waiting for? Waiting for the ref! One, two, three. Oh yeah! Who is the man? I get loser. So what about your war table challenge? What did mom and dad believe? They seemed like really great people. They were. Their belief in Christ kept them anchored. Their faith kept them hopeful. It permeated their whole life. <laughs> uh, permeated. <coughs> to be continued. <coughs> Time for all little goth guys to go home. I'm out. Night, bub. See you. Is it wrong that I don't miss mom and dad? You were just a baby when they died. Something bothering you? No, just pray for Eric, okay? No problem. Did you sign my report card? I'll get to it. If you give it back, I'll just forge it. I'll get to it, I'm busy. Yeah, right. What was that? That's what I thought. Luck will be with you in a moment.
Please, sit down. Wow, this is nice. I don't usually sit over here. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, um, I just thought I'd come see you. Uh, uh, legal advice. Well, if it's in regards to your sister, I'm afraid there might be a conflict of interest. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I understand. I, I just thought maybe I could ask you some advice sometime, if I needed it, over coffee or juice or something. Dinner. Advice, huh? Uh, well, I don't really need advice right now. I I'm just asking, you know, if... If I ever did have something to ask, could I... Call me? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. You can call me. Why don't you call me? So, yes? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, uh, thank you for your time. Okay. Not guilty. Wow, this looks like a good school. Pleasant teachers and an active administration. It sure is nice of you to give me this tour, Megan. Don't mention it. Are there any prayer groups or campus ministries? Do you drive? The car? Well, I just got my license, so maybe we can take a drive sometime. Okay then. Who is that? It's Megan. No, not Megan. Next to Megan. Who cares? Where are you going? I'm going to talk to her. Now? Now? Yeah, now. Are you crazy? You can't just go talk to her. How do I look? You're freaking me out. Good. Excuse me. Have we met? I'm sort of new here. Well, I'm sort of Bobby. Liz. Sorry to interrupt, I just thought I'd introduce myself. Oh no, that's okay, we were just talking about how I need a car. A car? You're 16? And you? Two weeks. I'm sorry, I just don't usually have goth kids just walk up to me. Um, you wouldn't be up for hanging out sometime, would you? Thanks, but... But... I don't date just anyone. Let's take it slow. Well, I never said date, I said hang out. But that's where you were going, right? Drinking on the bus. Hey, no drinking on the bus.
Security. Keep your eye on that kid on the lot. We've got a goth walking. Anyone. Let's take it slow. But that's where you were going, right? I'm sorry, I just don't usually... The god kids just walk up to me. But that's where you were going, right? Are you all right? <coughs> it's smoky in here. <coughs> May I? Yeah, please. As long as it's not a conflict of interest. I think we'll be all right. It's, it's great, great seeing, seeing you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, please. Ladies first. I read what you highlighted. It's one of my favorites. I'm sorry I acted so strangely. My brother says I don't know how to behave around women. Oh, you're fine. You're, you're doing fine. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> you won't report me to the women's union? Right. You'll be blacklisted. Never get another date. <laughs> Maybe I was already and didn't know about it yet. Well, I'll check the guild and get back with you. Thanks. It's good to know somebody on the inside. So. Like being a lawyer? Do you get to say I object? No. Oh. <laughs> Brother! Dennis? What are you doing here? Is that real? You betcha! Dinner smells good. Steak. Close to a casserole. Oh, this place hasn't changed! Where's Bob? What happened? What? What do you mean, what? Dennis! There he is! <laughs> How are oh, Bobby, you? Why don't you make sure I turn the oven off? Hey, are you clean? Oh, come on, man. <sighs> yeah, man. I'm clean. All right? Okay. Welcome home. <laughs> mm, I gotta tell you, bro. This is pillar casserole. Mm. It's the capers. I thought I'd try something. So what brings you back? My little brother's B-Day, water slides. That's in like two weeks. I gotta build up a base tan. 
the water slides are indoors. What are these little black things? Capers. They're from a bud of a Mediterranean plant. Capers spinosa. Hey, maybe we could box tag team like old times. I can't. I've got a date. With the lawyer? Uh, no. You're dating a lawyer? No, no, she's my, uh, uh, op optometrist. You mean she's happy all the time? No, that's an optimist. That's gross! Dr. Baker is like 60 years old. Sick. You're dating a grandma. No, uh, she's not our optometrist. She's a different one. I am so proud right now. This is silly. Let, let's clean up. Hey, it looks like it's just you and me. Uh, don't eat anything he gives you. Seriously, I had a great time tonight. Me too. You're not going to tell your sister about this. We haven't talked to each other much lately. I lied to my brothers about you. Not much of an example, huh? I'm sure you are. Like tonight, most men don't treat women with such respect. It's nice. It was my pleasure. Night. Night. <laughs> Russia like? Like a giant snow cone. Wow. Wow, man. <laughs> wow. Did you run into any communists there? Communism fell, Bobber. But I did meet some pretty cool anarchists. Till they turned on me. What's an anarchist? Anything goes. Sweet, anything? Anything goes. You know, I like this. You, me, talking about philosophy. It's stinking sweet, bro. So, uh, why did you come back? I was deported. No, I mean to the house. Water slides, bro. Not for the will? It doesn't hurt. The dentist has some bills to pay, if you know what I mean. To the mob? Don't be so dramatic, man. The anarchists, they mean to collect. But I thought anarchists said anything goes. Not when it comes to money, bro. <laughs> Hypocrite anarchists. So what do you think about James's philosophy? Well, he's a Christian. I mean, you got to respect that. Jesus and I parted ways a long time ago. Why? The dentist doesn't want to talk about that just now. What about you? Me? Yeah, baby. What about you? I don't know. Still trying to figure that one out. Right on. Oh, God, you, I so got you. 
that was so sweet too, man. You being all motherly and covering me up and stuff. You what, man? No bedtime story? How about a glass of warm milk? Good night? I'm an anarchist. I'm creating anarchy. She'll go crazy. Do you have to read that here? I promised James I'd read the book of John. Megan told me that Liz is a Christian. I think it's like research. Kickball again? What, are we in third grade? My life is over. So young, and you never got to see Paris. Oh, you're real help. I'm sorry. Who said that? I can't see from the light reflecting off your preppy shirt. Ease up, okay? It's probably all washed and everything. You smell like a dryer sheet. You know what? You smell like a dryer sheet. Dude. Where are you going? Hey, better, 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 better. Hey, better, better, better. Swing. Swing what? It's a kickball. Come on, hit me with the best shot. What was that? Revenge, for you digging on my clothes. I didn't knock your clothes. I was just surprised that you've changed. I was trying to impress someone. Benedict Arnold. Not just anyone, you. I didn't ask you to change. I don't even know you, Bobby! Back to the bench, Weiler. Yes, sir. Now your life is over. You don't want to change for me? Yeah, I'll show you. Tell me I'm changing for somebody else. You don't even know me. Maybe I like dressing like this, but you wouldn't know because you don't know me. Yeah, I like those clothes. Maybe I like dressing like that. I wouldn't change for anyone. 
wouldn't change for anyone other than myself. Even if you are beautiful. You're right, you don't know me. Maybe I like looking this way. Don't like the mohawk? <laughs> See how you like this. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. James, can you give me a ride? It's fine. You know, maybe I like looking like this. Do you ever think of that? Hmm? You know what? I can change. The circus is back in town, boys. Apparently, it's crime to like a girl these days, so. Four. Someone here? Open the door! Anarchist! No, man! You got a death wish? Okay. Oh, happy birthday, baby brother! Andrea, you remember me. What is this? Bobber's finding himself. And where do they find you? Come here! Uh, let's put that on layaway, shall we? Sweet talker. Walter, you made it! Well, frankly... Walter and I drove 28 hours, but we're here. Where's the cake and the ice cream? My birthday is not for another week and a half. Did I miss something? Is it a leap year? No, my birthday's always been on the 20th. Oh. Walter, get the luggage. Should we help him? You'll only spoil him. Lift with your knees! And the TV. And the painting. And the baskets. And the camera. And the radio. I'm home! James! Oh, you have got to start thinking moisturizer. What does that mean? It's materialist for you look old, man. He does not. He's matured, that's all. Walter, been a while. It certainly Walter ha and I have begun to make an accurate list of everything in the house. That way we have it all down in black and white so we can haggle over it later. See, this is what I'm talking about. We don't even know what the will says yet. Oh. I understand your grief over mom and dad's death. Twelve years ago. And we all, I, I think I speak for us all, we all feel that you, James, should get the lion's share. Our surrogate parent. Uh, it's <laughs> not about that. But I did call dibs on that wall clock. I say burn it all, man. Light the fire. Bob? I don't really know what I think. You can't burn this stuff. It's antique. You're an antique? Well, at least I'm not stuck in the 60s. At least I'm not stuck in the riot! Dude, the protein, man. We can catalog the house. Just remember that a lot of this stuff belongs to me and Bobby. That's fine. Scout's honor. <laughs> you were never, you were never a, scout. a scout. No, but I did love their cookies. You and the rest of the bourgeois. All right, don't make me separate you two. Just let me separate him. <sighs> like old times. While we're cataloging, we might as well clean. Dennis, you take the shed out back. Bobby and I'll take the attic. I'm, like, scared of the shed, man. You're not 12 anymore. It'll be okay. What does it matter anyway? We get along fine without their money. Yeah, but you should go to college. I can't do that if these knuckleheads get a hold of it. What 
What's the matter? Everything? A girl? Yeah, man. She's so confusing. I mean, she doesn't like the whole goth thing, but she tells me to be myself. Machines are like conspiring in there. I can't do this, man. No, you'll like this one. She's a church girl. So she wants a church boy? I guess. So confused. Watch the attic, man! Oh! The shed's trying to kill me. Look. You found the attic fan. Yeah, and I think the mower has it out for me. All right, why don't you and Bobby get a new fan? What? A new fan? But it's freezing up here. If we take care of it now, we don't have to worry about it in the summer. Here, I want change back. Ooh, thanks, bro. Hey, let's look to the future, not the past. Innovate. You want some chicken fingers on the way? Yeah. I said I want change back. Fifty dollars? <laughs> you think we're cranking up here? What? Nothing. What? Amps. How many do you think we have up here? Want to make sure I get the right size fan. Uh, d uh check the fuse box. The fuse box? <laughs> Got it. Uh, and the fuse box would be... Uh, workbench. But, uh, in the basement. Chill, man. <laughs> Got to. I'm out. Okay. Hold on. Let's leave the hardware to the men. Liz, wait up! Bobby! I didn't know you worked at a hardware store. Well, I didn't know you could throw so hard. Yeah. I'm in the market for an exhaust fan. Industrial size. <laughs> Gets hot up there in the summer. What kind? The kind that spins in a circle. I need your size, amperage? Amperage. Right. 120. That's your voltage. I need your amps. I don't know, man. Four. Liz, about the other day. Hey, I didn't leave a bruise. Very funny. Ow. 
I'm sorry, okay? I guess I was just angry at you for judging me like that. What judgment did I make on you? I saying that I changed who I am to make people like me? I don't even know you, Bobby. Yeah, but isn't that what you meant when you said that goth kids don't usually come up to you? I feel so powerless here, man. Okay, how big is the space? Space? <laughs> it's like light years. Not outer space. The area the fan needs to cover. It's pretty big. A couple... hundred... Feet? Feet, man! Yards! I mean, isn't that the proper metric? <laughs> <clears throat> Yards. No. I was just surprised to see a goth kid so outgoing and so well-spoken. I've been praying for friends, and I was surprised when you showed up. Really? Whoa. I don't know, man. I can't commit. You can always bring it back. If you were me, would you do? Rehab. Look, I'm sorry, okay? My family's in town, and my brother's got me all mixed up with this challenge to figure out who I am. So who are you, Bobby? Well, I want to be someone that you'd want to be around. If you really want to follow your brother's challenge, you shouldn't be changing to my specs. Find out who God wants you to be. I'll stop dressing like a punk if that's what you want. <laughs> that's sweet, Bobby. Look, if you want to be friends, just show me. Show you? Yeah. Like, not trying to take my head off in gym class? Show you. Okay. It was nice to talk to you for once. I'll see you tomorrow. Walter, get the door! Who are you? I'm here for dinner. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. College fund? Kids in Africa? Honeymoon with Terry in Hawaii. Church building fund. James, are you all right up here? Uh, fine. D sorting books. There's a kid out front with a sleeping bag. He says he wants to beat you up or something. He wants food. Let him in. I'll be right down. Walter, arm yourself. The neighborhood's gone to pot. Cool computer. So, you're James's sister. That's right. Cruel twist of fate. Eric! Got your sleeping bag. You mind if I stay for a few nights? Love to have the company. Come on, let's get you set up in Bobby's room. What? What are you thinking? Walter, help me hide the china. So, you know where everything is. Just help yourself. I'll give your mom a call, let her know where you are. It'll only be for a few days. 
I just need some space. I'll earn my keep. Is your mom still... I'll give her a call. Excuse me? Over oh, saving the seat? For someone who doesn't betray us. Betray you? Because I wore different clothes? And flirting with that new girl? I'm sorry, weren't you the one that showed her around? Some of us wear black for a reason. It's not a game. Something tells me you're upset. A little bit testy. That's good, bro. Let it out. A little bit of the teenage angst. Tell the dentist what's wrong. Hey, man. Bring back some milk if you're going out. Needs to build my muscles. What's that? It's a uh, riding crop. It's not a riding crop, it's a baton. No, it's a riding crop. Dude, we can't both have riding crops. That's not in the table bylaws. What is this? I wasn't invited? Can't sleep, handsome? It's that girl, isn't it? The lawyer? You too? Optometrist. No, man. Girl at school. Says I need to show her that I like her. Dude! This is the war table. We have to say things that are hard to say. Shoot. Shot. This is serious. The challenge is still on the table, Bobby. What's your progress? I'm committed. To Jesus. I don't know. It's tough for someone to get to know you if you don't know you. That's what high school is all about. If you're still trying to figure out the God stuff, it's going to change everything. I'm with you so far. Your attitudes, your desires, everything changes when you're a Christian. It's a matter of priorities. Jesus has to be number one at the sacrifice of everything else. That makes no sense. Why? You tell me that Jesus died for me. Free gift. Nothing I could do to earn it. Stop me if I'm wrong. Go ahead. Okay. Nothing I could do to earn it, but then I have to obey him. Yeah. But then isn't that me earning it? All right. Think about it like this. You like to wear goth clothes to identify yourself, right? Yeah. Because you care about Eric and Megan. They're your friends. You want to identify with them, right? So? So, when you care about someone or something, it shows. Like a fan wearing a hat for his favorite team. They show their colors. It's the same thing with God. If you care about God, it just shows. You show your colors. It's not about earning heaven, it's about owning it. 
A true faith in Jesus as your Savior shapes everything inside and out. If what the Bible says is true, nothing else should matter. Look, you identify with Megan and Eric in a heartbeat, right? Cool, they're great people. But none of them could ever do anything as big as pay the price for your sins. How do you identify yourself? Through your actions. If you believe in Jesus, make that commitment. Dedicate your life to him. If you want Liz to identify with you, show her. Bada boom, bada bing. See how this works? That's harsh. It's the war table, right? Dude, this ice cream's like five years old. Oh. Excuse me. Gentlemen. All finished. Beautiful. And what are these? Oh, for burglars. I'm too cheap to get a dog. That and Dennis would get jealous. <laughs> you wanna go? Where? Har har. Scared of getting beaten by a girl? Oh. You know, a lot of people would like to take a swing at a lawyer. The American dream. <laughs> Touche. I'll go easy on you. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, you want to go? I'm ready. Come and get it, come and get it. Come on, Miss Lux. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, made her angry. What's it? Ah! Oh, okay, ow. Oh, all right, hold on. Ow, ow, oh, ow, ow. Your lawyer's like... Vicious, Andrea. It's bad enough we're mooching off his livelihood, and then you go sicking your bulldog after him. I could take a few swings myself. You all right, man? <laughs> <laughs> Violence in the domicile. Man. Y'all are crazy. Liz! Is that what I think it is? You like it? Sure, if it runs, it's better than what I've got. I had the guy at the lot drive it down here so I could show it to you. You remember how you wanted me to prove to you that I liked you? 
Yeah. Well, Liz, I bought the car for you. To show you that I really like you. Are you serious? We just had to transfer the title. Bobby, I can't accept this. Why not? Bobby... Look, we're friends now. You wanted me to show you. Did you buy that Eric kid a car to make him a friend? Eric? <laughs> oh, of course not. I mean, we were in kindergarten together. Do you see where I'm going here? A relationship isn't something cheap. Cheap? I bought you a car. What more do you want? You're making me crazy. I don't want to be friends with someone because of what they can buy me. Because of who they are. Who are you, Bobby? What do you stand for? Who's in that dark little shell? It was sweet. Keep searching. Guy isn't done with you yet. James, as executor, it's usually your place to read the will. Oh, uh, these are for you, from all of us. Uh, thanking you in advance for your counsel. Um, before I read the will, I, I just want to say, I think Mom and Dad would be proud having us all together. And no matter what the will contains, we should always remember that God's blessed us with each other. We have nothing to hide. We can't let this get between us. We're family. Last will and testament of Jeffrey and Susan Wyler. We hereby decree that proper money shall be set aside for Robert Wyler to attend a four-year college of his choice. Should the weight and burden of responsibility fall onto the shoulders of James Wyler, our eldest son, the remainder of our estate and funds in our bank account shall be placed in his care as he will be acting in our place as provider and protector of the family. They didn't leave me anything? The anarchists are gonna kill me. Uh, <sighs> well, hold on. We don't have to get all crazy here, okay? Did anyone else just see that? Money! I can explain! It's like living in one of them cash booths! Where did it come from? I found it in the attic. But the fan is working! In the attic? Yeah, uh, Mom and Dad hid it in the boxes up there. Well, they only will do the money in the bank. That cash belongs to me! I bought her a car. See? I knew this is why you came here. What? Oh yeah. It wasn't for Bobby's birthday. It was for the money you expected. If I could just suggest it was- Shut it, Walter! I'm entitled to this money. You think just because you raised us, Mom and Dad loved you more? No. Maybe I was just ashamed that everything my parents ever worked for would get spent on luggage or snorted up Denny's nose. I resent that. I'm not gonna snort luggage, man. Resent it all you like. It's the truth, isn't it? You see? Even Terry thinks you're crazy, and you were going to ask her on a date. I did ask her on a date. It was wonderful. I've never been so happy in my life. She's the optometrist? I thought you were a lawyer. Money hungry, just like every man before you. And we had caramel apples together. Forgive me for looking out for my family. I was going to put Bobby through college, something I never got to do because you always had to go to Little League games and parent-teacher conferences. So, sue me! I plan on it. We'll see you in court. I was speaking figuratively. 
The will dispute is scheduled for Wednesday. Wednesday? How did you- I booked it four months ago. I knew you'd try something crooked. <laughs> Don't be late, or we'll get everything. What about Bobby's party? going on at home. Nothing. You can talk to me. No, I'm just, I'm tired. I haven't gotten a whole lot of sleep lately. So, um, that's it. I'm just, I'm just How about your parents? Is everything going on okay there? I want to be there for her, but I can't be. And I just don't know what to do. It's six o'clock. You've been sitting here for four hours. At least you haven't left, too. I don't hate you. Thanks. But I don't like you. 
I did it for you. A lot of good that did. What's that supposed to mean? You keep on telling me that I need to figure out who I am, but you can't even see past the log in your own eye. Log in my own eye? Have you been reading your Bible? So what if I have? All right, the gloves are coming off. What are those jowls? Look like a basset hound. They're oh. from worrying about you. Oh, what reason do you have to be worried? You leave yourself totally open oh. to church. Oh. You sound like Liz. Oh. But with a higher voice. <laughs> well, she sounds nice. She's sweet, man. Learn from our mistakes, Bobby. Look at Andrea. Andrea spends her life looking for wealth to make her happy. Enough will never be enough. Walter thinks so little of himself that he's grasping for any kind of attention he can get. His life's built on the hope that someone will let him finish a sentence. Dennis thinks that traveling, that drugs will fill the void in his life he hasn't been able to fill. But I thought he did that to escape the anarchists. The anarchists in his own brain. <laughs> He's so afraid of structure that there's something greater than him out there, whether it's the government or God, that he runs away from anything of authority. Eric is so desperate for love, he'll keep enabling his mom as long as he can. That's all he knows. And what about you? What about me? Lying to us about Terry? Hiding the money? Who are you to preach Jesus to me? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I blew it. Yeah. If I didn't sin, I wouldn't need a savior. That's what makes me the perfect person to preach Jesus to you. I'm just a forgiven sinner trying to make sure the spirit permeates my being. Welcome to my life. Permeates. I don't want to live like this. And you expect me to believe that Jesus can solve all my problems when he can't even get Eric. He couldn't stop mom and dad. Life's not about being happy. But Jesus gives us the chance to stop living like hell's our fate. You gotta figure out where you stand so when this junk happens, you'll be ready for it. It's either Jesus or the world. No more sitting on the fence. No more changing for whoever your crush of the week is. And then our family will love each other. The hole in the ozone layer will close. No. But you can't put a box on your head and shut out the world. It's time to face it. Being open with God about your sins, about your struggles, it's not a good feeling. But being forgiven by Him is. That's your real identity, forgiven. It's time to let go of hell. Stop mourning, own this thing. Once you do that, a cool kid like you could really help a lot of people. I am so proud of you. you! I am so proud of you.
Hello, Dennis. <gasps> Anarchists! We've come to collect. <sighs> Been working out, boys. Could have fooled us. Well, it took you long enough to find me. We don't believe in maps. We're anarchists. Well, I don't have your money. Then it's back to Siberia with you. Wait! My parents' will is being disputed on Wednesday. I'll have the money for you then. Wednesday. Or else no amount of dairy will save you. Wednesday. What day is today? It's Monday, man. Right. Buy a calendar! Anarchist! <sighs> Some people are so weird. Good dictionary? The best. Listen, Bobby really likes you. Excuse me? Bobby really likes you. Listen, I'm going away for a while. I was hoping you would look out for him for me. Okay. He has a hearing for his parents' will on Wednesday. That's the note and the address. I need you to give it to him for me. Sure. Hello? What? The judge can't do that. Yeah, he can. So, if we're stuck in a traffic jam and are late, Andrea gets the house. You betcha. Rush to the emergency room with a head injury. Uh-huh. In a full body cast. If I do, just wheel me into the hearing. He can't do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he can. Apparently, he's still angry at all my letters for the past 12 years. Finish your piece. Maybe we should get our own lawyer. Why? Because you're not marrying Andrea's anytime soon. <laughs> Peas, now. said you had an important meeting today. I thought I could show up. The least I could do after. Crushing my hopes and dreams. You call it that. Thanks. Eric wanted you to have this. You must be nervous. If we didn't show up today, we'd lose the house to my brother and sister. Thanks. I'll see ya.
one minute to go. If the judge is late, do we get the courtroom? <laughs> hey, man. If we take everything you got, you know, don't make it personal. Okay? I'll do my best. That's a lovely pant suit you're wearing today. I believe we should be professional here, Mr. Weiler. Well, from one professional to another. Sit. Sit, please. Mr. Weiler. Twelve years of letters, you finally get your wish. Let's just be expedient. Now, the state requires that we come to an agreement in a timely fashion. What I want to do today is get this out of the way. Our docket is just too full in order to accommodate family squabbles. So let's try to get an agreement, a fair and a just compromise. Dear Bobby, I want to write you and let you know that I'm going away for a while. I don't think I can take much more from my mom. Child services will be coming today, and I guess that means a foster home. I want to write you and let you know you've always been a good friend, and I don't want you to feel like this is your fault. I don't know where I'll end up, but I wanted to let you and James know that you've always been my family. Your friend, Eric. Do you have any questions? Now, according to the documentation I've received, a will was presented to the family under the supervision of Ms. Lucht on the 16th birthday of Robert Weiler. Now this is per the instructions outlined in the will of your parents some 15 years ago, which was three years before your parents passed away. James Weiler is to receive the- God help me do the right asset. thing. Andrea and Dennis have motion to challenge this decision. Something wrong, son? This is our war table. This thing folds up too? No, bro, I mean, we're really at war. If this family dissolves over money, greed, and addiction, we're missing out on something really important. You guys mean a lot to me. I love you guys, but this is crazy. We don't realize how good we have it when Eric has nothing. We're family. I don't know about you, but this is not who I am. If you need my share of the money so bad, then take it. You can have it. Eric needs my help. Son, you better have a seat. This is important. Bobby? What's wrong? What's the matter? Not you too. Uh, with all due respect, I... What Bobby said. Mr. Weiler, I don't have patience for this. Twelve years, Weiler. Eric's being taken away by child services. We may never see him again. But leaving this meeting and forfeiting my inheritance, my family's falling apart, and probably going to jail for contempt of court. And this is my last chance to make up with this girl I'm really interested in. Ah, oh, she smelled good today. On purpose. Liz. James. Hey.
It's okay, Bobby. I knew about this. I didn't want you to leave without me getting a chance to say goodbye. No, it's okay. I'm a friend of Eric's. Listen, do you think we could adopt him? Become foster parents? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Weiler. I'm Eric's mentor and friend. We'd like to assume custody rather than have him placed with some stranger. I'm sorry, Mr. Weiler. We have to assess the case. I understand, but uh, if there's anything we can do, here's my card. That's my daytime number. Give me a call. Eric, you know our number. Let us know when you get settled, okay? Thanks for coming. Seriously. We'll be here for you. There goes a great guy. You kidding me? I'm proud of you. Running down here like that? What? It took a lot of character to stand up and say, you won't be ruled by money or peer pressure. Well, we didn't actually accomplish anything except losing the house. Hey, part of being a man of God is doing the right thing, even when it doesn't change anything. Today you showed Eric how much you cared. You're so wise. You're going to be a real inspiration down at the poorhouse. We'll find a nice bridge to sleep under, down by the water. It'll be great. You'll love it. Race you back. I'm getting too old for this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, I don't care about the money. I don't want to break up the family. Aw, thanks big brother, that's sweet. Let's keep business business. Did you take everything I have? <sighs> don't be silly. Just most of everything. Walter! You're all hard, kid. I forgive you. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, I wasn't kidding about that pantsuit. It is dynamite. Everything is going to be divided up evenly, which means everything in the house will be sold. Although, Dennis did leave you the shed. Maybe you can move in there. I don't suppose you're free Friday. Not a chance. It was a pleasure doing business with you. But I don't have any plans for Saturday. Pancakes. We'll do pancakes at my place. While I still have a place. Yes. Good job out there. What? Faith into practice. Standing up for what you believe in. Praise God. Do you want to go out sometime? Um, I've been thinking. I don't know that I'm ready for a girlfriend yet. I'm just learning about Jesus, and I think I just need some time. I can help with that. Give me a call. You can pick me up in your car. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. You guys ever come back here? Just for the mower, that's about it. Dennis won't touch the place. Where's the light? Bobby? Eric! 
How are the foster parents? They're nice people. I think it'll work out for now. Well, I've been praying for you. Thanks, man. Sorry about you guys losing the house. God'll provide. Found him. Everything in the shed is mine, right? It sure is. <laughs> oh boy. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Bobby, come quick! So wait, I don't get it. Everything's happy? No, man. I mean, Liz and I aren't going out or anything. We still have our issues with Dennis and Andrea. Most of the furniture is gone. I live in a foster home. Right. Sorry about that. It's better this way. But now I know that it's not right for me to just say I believe in Jesus. I, I need to mean it. Live it. Then everything's happy? Maybe it's not about being happy. Ooh, the suspense. It's about owning your faith. Doing the right thing, even when it's hard. Trusting God's plan, even when... You're in foster care? Not to make light of it, but yeah, you did the right thing by calling child services. Point taken. So, are you happy now? Happier. But maybe it's not about that. You? Not all the time, but now I know who I am. And who's that? The guy who's gonna kick your tail.
Let's stop climbing around. 